Oh, hello. You might be wondering why we're out here saving lives. That's because today on In Chronicles, we're taking a look at fire. The, the game, not an actual fire. Alright, I think that's enough. I gotta get back so I can host the show. Isn't Alex in there still? He's not our problem anymore, I'm running late! Fire is a Game & Watch title about first responders rescuing people from a burning building. Despite their best efforts, the building never stops being on fire. You score one point every time you get a person into the ambulance and the light goes on. In Game A, people will jump from the building at a pretty decent pace. In Game B, they fall a little faster and supposedly can get as much as nine people scrambling around. Maybe you've played fire before and these details don't match up with your memory. All of this applies to the original version of Fire released for the Silver series. Fire was later remade for the widescreen set of Game & Watches. This time around, points were given every time a survivor bounced on the trampoline. Game B also has a noticeable difference now. Here, you'll start seeing people jump from the second floor, too. This widescreen release was the one later used for all future re-releases of Fire. Because it was remade as a widescreen game, Fire is also the only game from the original Silver series to have an alarm function. According to Game & Watch Gallery 3, Fire was actually supposed to look like this when it was released. But there was a mistake during LCD production and the screen was reversed. Since the game still played the same, they just decided it was fun enough like that. Oh yeah, the Game & Watch Gallery series also made another change to Fire. It turns out that in the original games, if you dropped a person, they died. Yeah, take a look in the corner, you get a little picture of an angel there. Once Fire made its way to Game Boy, these miss marks were changed to be bandages. On top of that, they added in a little animation of the person walking away. See? Everybody made it out alright after all. At least I hope so. This building is bound to run out of people eventually, right? They just keep falling and falling and falling and falling and falling and falling and falling. <laughs>